Hi, I'm Jordan Rubin, CEO of DrAxe.com, and welcome to Ancient Medicine Today. Today we're gonna to talk about a popular medication or class of medications that can be causing you more challenges than you've signed up for. If you're dealing with heartburn, acid reflux, often called GERD, and you are taking a medication for said acid reflux, you may be at risk of serious side effects. Today we're gonna to talk about acid reflux medication, the side effects, and some better alternatives to reduce the incidence of heartburn. So if you are somebody who knows or loves someone who has heartburn, acid reflux, GERD, etc., you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click that share button so they can learn this powerful information that can save them pain and suffering. So first and foremost, stomach acid is not your enemy. What heartburn medications, whether they're OTC or pharma, what they're doing by and large is cutting off the hydrochloric acid supply. There's usually more of an imbalance going on than simply acid. Acid production is important for digestion, particularly of proteins, and to kill some germs. See, stomach acid kills ingested microbes. So when you eat food that has a high level of germs, stomach acid's good for you. Also, acid suppressing drugs changes your microbiome, changes your colon, and the changes aren't good. In a 2017 study alone, stomach acid suppression, remember, stopping stomach acid production through medications has been linked to alcoholic liver disease, fatty liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, which is also another liver disease. Bottom line, heartburn meds, GERD meds linked to liver issues. And when you block or suppress gastric acids, you have a greater risk of serious bacteria called enterococcus. Also, bacteria that live in your colon may move into your liver due to the mechanism of these medications. Other side effects, if that wasn't enough, headache, diarrhea, constipation, abdominal pain, flatulence, fever, vomiting, nausea, and rash. If you're on a GERD medication for your heartburn, and there's so many advertisements for it, especially during sporting events online, you could be suffering from these unnecessary side effects. However, there are long-term risks that are even worse. C. diff, or Clostridium difficile, is a bacterium that will grow, usually post-antibiotic use, but now it's growing due to heartburn meds, osteoporosis, and arthritis. Your inability to acidify dietary calcium due to heartburn or acid reflux medications can cause a loss of bone density and an increase in joint pain. Reduced B12 absorption, magnesium deficiency, heart attack, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, which is an allergic reaction, almost anaphylactic shock-like that involves skin scalding and other horrific situations, toxic epidermal necrolysis, that even sounds bad, reduced kidney function, pancreatitis, erythema multiform, ulcers, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, leaky gut, and asthma. Those are long-term risks of heartburn medications. Again, folks, I'm Jordan Rubin here for Ancient Medicine Today, talking about the dangers of heartburn, acid reflux, or GERD medicines, and alternatives to help your heart burn less. Share this video if you know anyone who's on these medications, either the over-the-counter, you know, plop, plop, fizz, fizz stuff, or things that you take by prescription. What is the real cause of acid reflux? It's not high stomach acid, believe it or not. Drum roll, please, it's low stomach acid. We do not produce sufficient hydrochloric acid, which actually triggers heartburn. So what can you do to reverse heartburn symptoms and low stomach acid? Number one, apple cider or coconut vinegar. This is amazing. Consume 
before meals, add a little honey if you choose. In fact, honey's up there as well. Apple cider vinegar, let's say a teaspoon to a tablespoon in eight ounces of water, along with some honey, try Manuka honey because it actually kills germs that causes ulcers. Drink it, warm is usually best before a meal. It will stimulate digestion. Number two, digestive enzymes. A multi-enzyme supplement taken with meals can help you digest your food and overcome heartburn. And you can take a supplement called hydrochloric acid or HCL with pepsin that also does the same thing. Apple cider vinegar with Manuka honey, digestive enzymes, HCL pepsin gets to the underlying cause of heartburn, which is really digestive insufficiency. Other remedies, consume a better diet. Heartburn causing foods are not peppers. They're not jalapenos, believe it or not. Spices don't usually do it. It's the overconsumption of processed junk, high carb, fast food, etc. That's the common denominator with heartburn sufferers. You can take melatonin, which helps you sleep and is a hormone that can help with heartburn. Cessation of tobacco, including cigarette smoking, can help. Some people have such bad heartburn, they need to sleep with a raised head or a greater number of pillows, that can help a little bit. A lot of people say, oh, when I lie down, my heart burn hurts. Exercise. Exercise can help get the sphincters and muscles fixed or straightened out, which that can often cause heartburn. Something called a hiatal hernia, which means some of your organs push up and that can cause symptoms of heartburn. It's improved with exercise. Here's a good one, manage stress. Easier said than done, find a way to do it. And this is a, a big one, costs you nothing and has side benefits. If you have heartburn, I believe it's due to undigested carbohydrates and sugars. Chewing your food more thoroughly, literally counting 50 to 75 bites per mouthful, chews per mouthful, can make a big difference. And don't eat before bed. That will also help, especially with heartburn laying down. Folks, here's the deal. Heartburn or acid reflux, otherwise known as GERD, affects tens of millions of people. Tens of millions of people consistently or semi-regularly consume heartburn medication. One of the top most prescribed class of medications is for heartburn, GERD, acid reflux. Advertisements on TV and magazines, etc. Take this pill, take that pill. Folks, you don't have to take those pills, but if you do, understand the risks. We talked about liver disease. We talked about bowel disease. We talked about decrease in bone density. All medications come with a, go with a risk. Bottom line, folks, if you suffer from heartburn, know someone that does, you want to share this information. And by the way, Ancient Medicine Today is here on this Dr. Axe YouTube channel where we bring you cutting edge information, helping you how to use food as medicine. Also, sign up for our e-newsletter. Join the millions of people that are regular subscribers to DrAxe.com. Folks, I'm Jordan Rubin, and I'm excited to help you understand how to take your health to the next level by using food as medicine. Thank you for joining me on Ancient Medicine today. See you next time. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.